Welcome back to another video. We're gonna be watching the top 10 haunting last photos of people. And this is freaking insane, bro. Can you imagine top 10 haunting last photos of people, bro? I hope it's not like some crazy, crazy stuff. That would be insane. All right, anyway, um, if you wanna see more scary videos, more scary video reactions, you can subscribe to the channel if you want. If you don't, it's super awkward. Uh, this video is posted by Most Amazing Top 10, and it's called Top 10 Haunting Last Photos of People, bruh. So, yeah. R.I.P. to all these people. In this. If this is real, bruh, R.I.P. to all these people. That's crazy. In this day and age, everyone is constantly taking selfies and photos. Well, what if you captured a photo of someone's last moments right before they were killed? From a pic of a dangerous stunt gone wrong to a selfie shared between friends before one kills the other. I'll be discussing these and more in today's video. So let's get- Before one kills the other? That's so janky, bruh. Right on into it. Starting off this countdown, we have the plot to kill. This photo was taken of Tom Miss Bart Whittaker on the left and his younger brother Kevin on the right, just hours before Thomas planned to have his family killed. So apparently the two brothers were just goofing off and their mother- See, I like how she has this thing in the background. That didn't just caught my attention instantly wanted to take a photo of them then later they went out for dinner as like a little celebration for thomas completing his exams which was a lie anyways while they were at the restaurant thomas had his friend enter his home and retrieve a gun and stage a burglary he then waited at the front door for thomas's family to return home once they did he shot thomas's mom and brother his dad managed to survive the photo shows thomas's happy younger brother but little did he know that his older brother literally had a plot to kill him it's so disturbing. In our ninth spot, we have yeah. Victor Barrio. But before I go any further, if you guys are liking this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and of course, subscribe to our channel. Come on guys, it really helps us out. So hit that button, subscribe, ring that little bell. Victor Barrio was a 29 year old Spanish bullfighter. Sadly, on July 9th, 2016, his bullfighting days came to an end when a 529 kilogram bull's horn pierced through his chest. Dang, nah, nah, ain't no way, bro. There's no amount of money on this planet, bro. Jeff Bezos could tell me right now. I give you 7.5 billion trillion gajillion dollars if you hop in that a ring with a bull. No. This moment was captured in front of a live audience and also was broadcasted on live TV. Some people managed to get photos as this happened and it's horrifying. You can see the look of pain on his face as the bull's horn just plunges through him. Like I feel so bad for him. You see how thick that is? And for all the people that had to witness it, it's so scary. In our eighth spot, we have the oh, Panama Hikers. Chris Kremers and Lizanne Froon were two young Dutch females that saved up to take a trip to Panama. Except while on a hike in the Panamanian jungle, the two disappeared. It wasn't until months later that their bodies were found, but it's still unclear how the two died. The last photos taken of them were in April of 2014 the day that they went on the hike. They are selfies of the girls looking very excited to be on the trip. These photos were found on their camera, which was found in a backpack along the banks of a river. The camera also- Along the banks of a river, bro, that's- Yo. Also contained other pictures, like of the jungle in the dead of night. Maybe they were using the camera's flash as a source of light. Another photo showed the back of Chris's head and it was bleeding. Again, it's so scary looking at these photos. Like these poor young girls had no clue what was about to happen to them and they were so excited for their trip. Coming in at number seven, we have the drowning. Bro, these pictures they keep flashing up are terrifying, bro. On October 22nd, 2003, Tina Watson and her husband, David Gabriel, went out scuba diving on their honeymoon. They just got married 11 days earlier, and scuba diving was days? part of their honeymoon itinerary. Now, in this photo, if you look right at the back, you can see a diver laying on the seafloor. That's Tina Watson. A few minutes before this photo was taken, it's believed that her husband turned off her air supply and held her underwater until she drowned. Then he swam up to the surface to alert other divers that she 
was in trouble. The photo was captured accidentally and you can see the divers going to help Tina. Some say he held her underwater until she drowned. Others say he saw her struggling as a new scuba diver and just kind of left her there to die on her own. Either way, he pleaded guilty to manslaughter and that was the last photo ever taken of her. In our sixth spot, we have the Diablo. Yo, Cassidy's they gotta chill with these pictures, bro. Yeah. In February of 1959, a group of nine experienced hikers set out to traverse the snowy mountains of Siberia. However, they all ended up mysteriously dying one by one. This photo was one of the last photos taken of them. Now, this case has nah. been debated about for years, and there's tons of theories as to what Bro, happened. Bro, black and white photos are so creepy. It's insane, bro. Happened to them. Some say they were hit by an avalanche at night and died from exposure. Others say a Yeti got them. In fact, there was a picture of a creature that looks like a Yeti found on one of the explorer's cameras. But it's a very odd case. Like their tent was found ripped open from the inside. Two bodies were found and they were only wearing underwear in the freezing cold. Huh? Another explorer's body was missing her tongue, eyes, and lips. And two of the other bodies had major chest fractures. To cause someone that much damage, it would be like equivalent to a car crash. Crash. And another hiker had a really high level of radiation on their clothes. It's just crazy. And to this day, we don't know what truly happened. Nah, that's weird. We all have these theories, but the only ones that really know are the hikers in the photo. We're now at our fifth and halfway mark with the submarine murder. Back in August of 2013, freelance journalist Kim Wall got an interview with Danish inventor Peter Madsen. As part of the interview, Kim was set to take a trip on his homemade submarine. This photo shows Kim him aboard the submarine just before her trip. Sadly, once inside, Peter killed her and dismembered her body. Why did he do this? Well, some say he became fascinated with murder and torture. Evidence showed that he had been watching videos of women Bro. being killed on his computer. And shortly before he beheaded Kim, he watched a video on it. So it was clear that he had a fascination with it. It's sad that Kim had to be his victim. In our fourth spot, we have the Bro, Facebook murder. Can a couple chill? hours after this picture was taken, Cheyenne Anton left, used the black belt she is seen wearing in that photo to strangle Brittany Gargle. The two were best friends, but apparently got into a heated argument and Cheyenne hit and strangled Brittany. Imagine taking a selfie with someone you thought you could trust and just for them to go you? and kill you a couple hours later. It is so sick. Now, Cheyenne actually got away with this murder for two years until police finally found this photo on her Facebook and noticed that the belt that she was wearing was the, the same, same one belt. found at the crime scene. She then pleaded guilty to manslaughter and was sentenced to seven years in prison. Moving on. Seven years for killing someone? On number three, we have Parkour Gone Wrong. I was about to say, this picture isn't that scary, but then yeah, this is wild, bro. Oh, Papal Cashin was known for his dangerous stunts and abilities. In 2013, he challenged himself to do a backflip on the edge nah, of- Nah, the parkour people are wild, bro. I seen, I think it said like somewhere, some guy was in Japan or something was climbing up this building and he slipped and dropped all the way and splattered on the street, bro of a 16 floor building. He successfully completed the backflip, but as he landed, he lost his footing and fell over the edge. He died instantly. This photo was captured by his friend while he was performing the stunt. You can see he's in midair doing his trick. Sadly, that was the last stunt he ever performed. And at number two, we have the stalker. On February of 2017, best friends Abby Williams and Libby German headed out for a hike in Indiana. This photo is of Abby Williams, taken right before they were both murdered. What's very disturbing is that in the background of these photos, you can literally see their killer lurking there. Apparently, the man was stalking them for quite some time, and in the girl's photo roll, they actually got some pictures of him, probably Yo. because they felt like he was following them. So, in the last photo ever taken of Abby, you can literally see her killer behind her. It makes me so sick. Worst of all, He's never been caught. There's currently a reward for anyone that can identify the man though. So hopefully they can get some justice soon. Right, I'm not and in our number one spot, we have the gruesome scene. This photo is going to send shivers down your spine. But before I show you, let me give you a quick backstory. So this photo was taken of Travis Alexander while he was taking a shower. It was taken by his girlfriend and murderer, Jody, shortly before before she stabbed him 27 to 29 times. 27? She also slit his throat nearly ear to ear and shot him in the- Ear to ear? Head. It was a very gruesome- 
Dang, what did he do? ...and sinister murder. In this photo, you can see how uncomfortable Travis looks. It's almost as if he knew she was up to something. He looks absolutely terrified. Now, the camera that captured this photo was actually tossed into his washing machine as an attempt to destroy it. But it didn't work, and some of the photos were still salvageable, like this one and one that she took of Travis's dead, bloody body. I saw it. You don't want to see it. Honestly, this yeah, video was pretty that. depressing, so let's try and brighten the mood with some comment shoutouts. I'll be shouting out some comments from my video, Top 10 Dark. She said from ear to ear? That's insane. Yeah, they got that, bro. Yeah, I think that's enough videos for today, bro. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. I don't think I understand.